Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind let's play of Persona 4. So, we have just moved in to our new place. Um, yeah. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. Okay then. I suppose we have nothing else to do than to get into our room and start checking the place out. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Okay. You are try tired from the long trip. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Okay then. Bhutan has been prepared. Help, today will end if you decide to go to bed. You may have a good dream. Go to sleep? Yes. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow, you should hurry to bed. Oh? Where is this now? This is... the area is covered in thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. I suppose so. Okay. Is this... mental scape? Is this... what exactly is this? Is this our dreamscape or something? Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. How eerie. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. The voice came from up ahead. Okay. You sent someone beyond this door. Continue through? Yes. Oh, thriller music. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Guard. It seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. Oh, I can already use Persona skills. I see, indeed, you possess an interesting quality. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then you see so your search will be even harder. The surroundings are covered in fog. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Hmm. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. Hmm. <laughs> I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Okay. That's an interesting little scenario there. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Why is it Nanako who is serving the breakfast? Isn't it shouldn't Dojima 
um, Daddy Dojima um, be the ones doing that. Okay. Let's eat. Okay. Did your father go to work? There was some kind of trouble. You won't be back. Okay. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. You certainly seem like a chipper little child. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. School zone, Samegawa Fallout Plain. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. See ya, Nanako. School zone intersection in front of the school. <laughs> he has a portrait, he must be important. Actually, I do know that he is one of the characters that will be, or one of the characters that will join our party. That looked painful. You should leave him be. How cruel of us. Leaving another student in pain. You arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? You okay? A transfer student from the city? She Just like you, huh, Yosuke? She has a portrait. She also must be important. Actually, I also know that she will be. If I remember correctly, her name is Chie. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? She also has a portrait, so... I... I'm pretty sure that she's also going to be a party member at some point, but I can't remember her name. All right, shut your traps. That's quite a little upper upper fight. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring. Doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Hmm. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell oh, him I don't know, so... Make it quick. Nice to meet you all. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Well, you're suddenly angry. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. 
You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. You ought to want to talk. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Hmm. Morocco goes on and on. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Well, that was friendly of her. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Hmm. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this school, new school, has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Oh, I'm sure of it. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Okay. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Oh, police. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. I think like the game is going to be a murder mystery. So... That's uh, something. Yeah, I like think this is important. Lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san. Oh, Yukiko. You something. Okay, that's her name then. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. What are they exactly talking about, though? Attention, all students! There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Something interesting actually happened in a backwards school? That's quite something. 
Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. Certainly, Chie. And this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. But do you have an upbringing? I just wanted huh? to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Well, she certainly seems friendly. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. Uh, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And... I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thanks! Stop right there! What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> what the? I can't believe this! It is completely cracked! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net! Hmm. <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. Oh dear, Yusuke. You certainly are an unfortunate one. You're Yuki, right? Y you wanna go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? <laughs> uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! What did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Hmm. Huh? Really? So, Yuki goes a stuck up little bitch, is she? I mean, uh, she's Excuse a reserved me, girl. Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. I mean, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. How oh, friendly. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Oh, you. No need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Everybody is staring. Hmm. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. 
There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from out. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, okay. wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. Okay, it's then. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Okay. I don't think that's entirely true. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Ah, uh, it's hard to say. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot right in front of her. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Well, some people just Come aren't on, ready for it. it, so it's completely understandable. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Oh, really? Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. <laughs> well, she's all flustered. How adorable. G.A. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hmm. Hey, what's that? Oh, this is about the incident, huh? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Oh, uh, I think they're talking about the body. I wanted to see it too. I think I have seen the early start of the sh game, so... You're too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body ah, showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Oh, hey, look at that. Hey. Oh, Jima. What are you doing? What up? Something happened? Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. <laughs> but you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. All right. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Well, Dojima, you seem like a f fine gentleman. <gasps> was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Sure. Good thing, girls. The two of them left. You decide to head straight home. Don't tell me what I decide to do. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Oh, Nanako, you're too adorable. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, 
A woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Oh, the school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Hmm. <sighs> Are you worried about him? Uh-uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna. Atop a local residence well, roof. Well, that certainly is odd. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Hmm. That seems really unnatural to be an accident. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the TV news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. It's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Is she going to every Yeah. Every day's great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. You're a good singer. <laughs> In my class. Nanago sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgot forgotten all about the scary story. How fortunate that fortunate timing for that. And with that I think we are out of time for today. So I thank you all very much for watching. And I'll hope to see you all in the future and have a great day and stay awesome. Ganmu out. If I can see how. Can I actually access any kind of. No. Hmm. Okay, so thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you all in the future. Have a great day and stay awesome. Ganmu out.